Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits, but please leave the rest out. Okay, we have the High Priestess. Time has come with Seven of Summer. So something's not quite what it seems. Okay, there may be a certain situation going on and things look uh, completely different than what is actually happening behind the scenes here. We have inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance with absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Yeah, so uh, someone's not quite revealed their true feelings here or um, what is going on with them in the current moment. Overall energy, Eight of Pentacles. This is about hard work, dedication, but uh, persistence in a goal here to make it uh, as perfect or successful as possible. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Some of you, uh, for a specific someone, uh, might have a lot of cats or uh, definitely an animal lover here, but I see that uh, truly devoted uh, cats that you have uh, something truly special page of cups nine of wands and the knight of swords so your energy this week is very powerful because it's it's like you're turning over a new leaf here no matter what you're struggling with no matter what's coming your way you really are looking at things more positively and you're attacking a solution right away instead of uh, making yourself suffer and over analyzing you definitely are very grounded and you're taking things on by storm and fixing things properly so if you feel a lot of stress this week don't uh, worry about that because you're getting a little push here the universe is giving you some peace as well uh, to be able to accomplish the things that you need to get done uh, so we have a really good week ahead uh, four of wands ten of swords and the four of pentacles so i see when it comes to your person uh, they've kind of hit rock bottom but they've gone to the point where they feel like they've held back for way too long or they've not really revealed something that they should have done in the past they feel like uh, as well very lost without you ten of swords four of uh, wands almost like the joy in their life is gone due to their own making so they realize that they've done something here to take away their joy their happiness and really they just sabotage this for themselves. Uh, tell me the Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. It's due to their communication or lack thereof. How they handled things in a general sense. Tell me the Four of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Uh, they played the wrong game here. The wrong strategy and they feel like it blew up in their face. Everything that they were trying to achieve here uh, really ended up hurting them in the end. So let's see what's happened in the past. We have a Seven of Cups again. Nine of Cups. High Priestess again. We have it twice. This is telling me, this is a spiritual tie here, okay? What I see happening is in the past, things felt like it was a whirlwind type of connection. Romance was in the air, a lot of fantasizing. It felt like both of you had met your match. Things were just going the right way. But it quickly turned into something that felt more of a fantasy than actually a reality, something going to come from this. It felt like you were in limbo here, always longing for more or thinking about them more than actually talking to them or actually engaging with them in person. Tell the Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the World card. Yes, I see that for them, uh, they chose other people or things and made that a priority here. Uh, and when they started to do that, they took on more and more and more of their time uh, was allocated to that instead of you. And so you ended up getting neglected in this. There's a lot of responsibility and more pressure was put on their plate due to the choices that they made. So they realized that when they took on more of this in the current moment, it was actually a prison of their own making. They realized that they sabotaged this in a way. Uh, tell me the world card. Queen of Wands, 
two of swords they felt like this connection can endure all even though they did choose other things or other people over you uh so they really took on this sense of well they'll always be waiting there for me there will be no issue because i know this love is real i know that this connection uh, can withstand the test of time so i don't really have to you know make an effort to contact more or let them know because everything's just gonna be okay but what i see happening here is the more time that passed, this person took on even more and more. It looks like without telling you what was going on in their situation, they had an immense amount of responsibility and uh, they were overwhelmed by themselves, almost feeling like they need to let go of a lot of things, but too fearful to do that. So they feel like they caught themselves up in something that they deeply regret without making a decision to choose you first or make you a priority here. Uh, let's see what the challenge was. This could be financial, a job related, or for some of you, this is a third party situation. I just see that for some of you, this person may have trouble in life in general saying no, uh, that they just keep going and they felt like they know you. And so you'd be able to handle this. Uh, but they realized that they weren't giving you anything when you have so much time pass, or you really don't start investing in the other person. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Just sit there, right? So you really didn't have any explanation or answers. And this person knows that they needed to come forward. They needed to do it right the first time. And so they created themselves a big pickle, basically, that they got themselves stuck in. Uh, Chariot, Two of Pentacles, and the Sun card. So I see that when they would eventually come around or they would talk to you, they were so stressed out that they were treating you very coldly. Uh, and so, for some of you, very rash. And they felt like they just really didn't uh, in, entertain in the conversations or really care about what was going on in your life or what you were feeling. And so this became unbearable at times. You felt worse when they did communicate versus the silence. Okay, and with the Sun card here, this means there was a lot of negativity in this situation because this person was drowning in their own decisions as well as feeling like there was no way out at a certain point after they had got themselves stuck in some things here. And they were too ashamed or they felt a lot of guilt uh, to reveal this to you, so they held back. And it was like the more they held back, it was kind of making them feel comfortable because they were afraid to tell you and then they would panic. So they were just more comfortable in this limbo type energy. With the chariot as well, the focus, again, this is the main thing here, the focus was on everything else and other things that didn't mean anything to them was taking precedence over you and over this connection. And so you really didn't know what was happening here behind the scenes. Did they just not care? Do, are they not interested anymore? Or do they not love me? Uh, and so to overcome this challenge, they needed to choose wisely. And I really do see here uh, with the Seven of Cups twice and High Priestess, it reminds me really of uh, Indiana Jones and choosing the Holy Grail, right? Which in the universe is giving them choices here. What are you going to choose? What makes you happy? Are you going to do for other people? And that doesn't make you happy, but it doesn't make you look bad. Or are you going to choose for yourself and, uh, you know, neglect where your heart really lies. I mean, this is a very imperative decision that it looks like the universe here with the world card six of pentacles was presenting this person over and over, but they were choosing wrong. Okay. So let's see this chariot. Ace of swords and the moon card. Yeah. If they were just honest and they revealed what was going on with them, and actually communicated and, you know, really worked as a team with you, then they would have the support system and you could actually give them, uh, you know, advice as well. And they could choose what was best for this connection as well as what they really wanted. Everything would kind of align with their heart and what they truly desired here. Instead, they were just following, you know, everybody else or really giving in to others. Uh, tell me about the sun card. Five of Wands 
and the Queen of Cups. So for a select few here, there is someone in this person's life that kind of has a grip over them. It's coming up as a feminine energy. It doesn't mean it's not a masculine, it's a man or a woman, right? We can be in a feminine and masculine energy, but there's definitely a feminine, a strong feminine energy that has a control over them emotionally. Uh, and this really has a hold over them in making certain decisions and taking more on as well. Okay, it's not for everyone. I just have to say it because I see it here, but they felt like the struggle was real and they were, were really being taught a big lesson here that they needed to choose themselves and uh, choose what they desire instead of living their life for other people. Okay, so... What they're about to do, we have Star, Five of Swords, and the King of Wands. So I see someone very fed up here and getting ready to just cut everything out and just go after whatever they desire, making this fantasy into a reality. So if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.